Well, Chris, you're the most successful jockey in winning the Queensland Oaks. So you've won four of them. It's coming up this weekend. What do you think is the key to winning so many Oaks? I think at the end of the day, you've just got to get on the right staying filly on the day. Giovanna is the leader with 100 metres to go. It's another one for Chris Munson, and Roger James. And home goes Giovanna to win the Oaks in brilliant fashion. Yeah, well, she came over with a pretty big um, reputation and wasn't a big filly, only a small filly, but had a heart as big as herself. Really a uh, genuine stayer and just a top-class galloper. Zagalia in 2003 for Clary Connors. We know just how fit Clary Connors three-year-old fillies are. Yeah, and she come down the outside fence on a heavy track. It was big odds. She was about 50 or 60 to one or something and Singo owned her and had to survive a protest and we had to put up with Singo to pressure from him for this protest. But uh, we come out on top and held the race and, and uh, she ended up then going on running fifth in a Melbourne Cup. Zagalia ran out, the duel trying to get to it from Penny Jim. Zagalia still the leader, it's running the duel off the track. Oh, Penny Jim's got through on the fence. Zagalia's in front from the duel. Zagalia wins from the duel, but I'm sure there'll be a protest. Two thousand and four, Vuray trained by Paul Sullivan, and another seventeen or twenty to one uh, chance fell in. Well, she fell in. She um, was lucky to make the field. She'd come over and hadn't had a run over here. She'd only had a barrier trial. And when Paul booked me to ride it, he sort of he didn't fill me with confidence, but he didn't he didn't potter either. So uh, we were lucky. We just got the right run in transit. Uh, didn't go around the horse and she was able to win the race. It's Vouvray in front. Zomanity's not going to pick it up and Vouvray wins the Oaks. We all remember Miss Keepsake uh, in 2010, trained by Andrew Scott. She was at a big price as well. Well, she was a lovely filly and she'd come through restricted race at Caloudra on a Sunday, believe it or not. She'd won a class one and then a class two and a class three and she was only, I think, an emergency in the Oaks, uh, but when she did get in the race, I, I actually had a lot of confidence in her being able to win, and she was 25, 30 to one, and, and away she went. Was it wet that day? No, uh, it wasn't wet. The track was a good track. Bart Cummings had won in the race and stayed in the barriers, the favourite. We ended up going on and winning. The most successful rider in Oaks history, that is uh, four Oaks wins to uh, Chrissy Munn. Last week we saw a huge margin in the derby, but which is something quite common, but we really don't see that in the Oaks. No, they're all they're all pretty even. And as I say, like these three-year-old fillies, you've got to have one that you're pretty confident is going to stay because, um, you know, the, sometimes you can make them stay against their own age, but they've got to have a good stamina and good staying ability to be able to win. We don't have a lot of staying races up here. Would you like to train an Oaks winner one day? Oh, I'd love to, yeah, yeah. Any any staying, either an Oaks or a Derby. I mean, it's uh, I, I love the staying races and to get a nice three-year-old and train them up and, um, you know, being able to prepare them for an Oaks race, all that would be fantastic.